Okay, so this is nearly the end of our Discovery 4 brake upgrade videos. This one's gonna cover the topic of adjusting the rear brakes. So when you've got the rear brakes all together, you need to adjust the rear brake shoes. And there's one adjustment we did a little bit, um, but there's another one you have to do and we'll go through that. So this is quite a sort of key stage of it really and we, we didn't really go into it in enough detail um, on the other video. So the, the previous video, we'll put a link there on to how to replace your rear brakes is there. This is gonna cover the adjusting. We'll show you where the adjusters are. There's, there's like an adjuster, you've got to do the bottom expander, but then you've got to release this pin and we'll show you. But what I'll do now is I'll take both brake shoes, brake, sorry, brake discs off to show you on the left and the right side the exact position of the adjusters so you're not sort of fishing around in the dark because basically your adjusters are accessed through this little plastic cover that you've got to flip off and you've got to get your torch out and have a look so I'll whip these both off show you where the adjusters are then I'll put the shoes back on the discs back on and show you what we've got to do and then the next video we will do after this is you've got to do a bedding video and there's some witchcraft you can do in the car and you've got to drive it at a certain speed but we'll do that in the next video so this is just adjusting the rear brake shoes so when you're looking through that little hole in your brake disc drum whatever you want to call it right on the left hand side so this is the left hand side of the car you you're going to be looking for the little hexagon when we get to it. And that's got the little um, Allen key nut is there. I've coloured it orange. Yours won't be orange. And that's sort of at the 11 o'clock position. Okay. But before that, you'll need the main adjuster, which is at the bottom here. And I'll put a little arrow on that. It's about the 7 o'clock. So hopefully you can see those there. You've got one about 7 and one about 11. That's the left side if i swing around to the other side of the car and this should help you a lot when you're doing it all right so your first adjuster the notchy one is again at about the 11 o'clock remember on the other side it's at the bottom though so it's at 11 o'clock here and then the little allen head bolt we're looking for is here and that's at about the three slash four o'clock so i'll zoom out a bit so you can see you've got one here which is the little allen and first you've got to do the notchy adjuster that's there right i'll put the brake discs back on now and we, now we know where we're looking we'll have a go at finding those right so here we go we've got it all there we've we've taken the little rubber bung out we're going to put a new one of those in just pop that out we've got this to the seven o'clock position and we're looking for our little notchy adjuster. I don't know if you've got that there, Ian. You can see that. I coloured it orange just to help a little bit. No, it's going to oh, be it's probably not. There, not. there, you can just about see it there. They can zoom in at home. So basically now, and we did a little bit of this earlier. And what you've got to do is you've basically got to lift the screwdriver up and push the wheel down to tighten it. And you'll feel it go and go and spin and spin. And then it will get tight. And then what I'm suggesting you do is go as, as tight as you can till you feel you're gonna nearly break one of those notches off and then back it off. Now, in the, the guide that someone's kindly written, and I'll put the link in the, in the thing below to the Bible, what's his name, can you remember? Some guy on the forums put some Bible break adjustment together and it's very good, all credit to him. He says what you've got to do is get it to a certain torque level where you can, you put a torque and you can still move but what I think you'll always find is when you get to it it's just you do as tight as you can and you back off one notch there hold on I'm going down get which way I'm going so if I back it off a notch then it'll go forward it'll start to move without so you're only you could get the torque wrench out and do it like he's saying, but I'm suggesting just do it as tight. We found the difference between the torque wrench moving and not moving was one, one click off. 
as tight as we could do it. Yeah, so you just do it as tight as you can, but the, the manuals love measurements and love torque settings, but in real life, I think you do it as tight as you can, back it off, and then the manual says back it off eight. So I've got to spin it up. up. So I'm going to go up find a, it now. a further eight. Now we've moved it. Oh yeah. That's the trouble with the torque is yeah, if you yeah. do it one at a time, you've got to blooming. Move it, yeah. I'm going to have to get it on Go there. back and forth and move it. Right, so now we've got it lined back up again. So now he's saying, do do eight notches. Right, are we going up or down? Up. up. Eight right. notches up, so you want to slacken it by one, exactly eight. Yeah, I can feel it. There's only one way I can go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's good. Right, now what we've got to do is find that little Allen key. Now, why do we need to find that little Allen key? So that little Allen key was living up here, okay? Now I thought, what is all this about? And he doesn't explain it in his guide, although he does a good thing. So I thought, well, what's it all about? Well, if you turn over, the, this little threaded bit here is the end of the Allen key. And what you've got is this spring-loaded wedge. And if I release the Allen key, you'll see what happens. All right, so let me get that on the back of there. So you're... The, the plate that sits between the two pads sits against this silver wedge. Yeah, it's like the handbrake link sits in there where my fingers push in. And what this wedge does, when you release it, right, so if I release that screw, it loosens this clamp here. This clamp's gone loose now, and it allows that wedge to drop and take up any slack. So you can see that that wedge is free to fall. And so what that does is, I think you then leave it loose, you back it off, and then... It just says leave it, he says loosen it off, and then tighten up to six newton meters. Okay, so, that, so that's going to drop so down, nip it back up. fill up anything, and then you're going to tighten it up again. So that's why we're doing that. It's a little, it's a clever mechanism. So I'm going to reset, I'm just going to leave that back there. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to loosen it. And so they come, when you put new shoes on, they come preset at a certain point. I'll reset that one. Um, so we're going to do that right. So that's why we're doing it and that's how we're doing it. As I've got my torque wrench out, let me uh, spin that all the way around now. Right, I'll get my little torch in and see if I can find that. So he should be... You need to come this way a little bit. Right. There he is, there he is. You might be able to see him there. But you can see you've got your little lined up in the middle of the hole there, my little orange. There we go. There. So I should be able to just get, thank you, it, get that in there. Have a feel about. So it looks like there. you need a bit there. of length to it. A bit of length to it. I don't know if I've got enough leverage to do that with my little finger. Let me get a little spanner on it. That's not an ideal spanner. There you go, I think that's gone. Oh, gone. They're tight quite tight, aren't they? Yeah. There we go. There you go. That's moved. Right, now that should release the wedge now. That wedge drives in and should find its location. Was there something so about knocking the... So you completely the, slack there. Was there something about knocking the brake shoes? Yeah, you should knock it, give it, help it centralise, I think. So now it's tensioned up. Rubber mallet, give it a tap. And then just tighten that up again now. Um, and then that's that's taken up all the slack. So that should be. So I don't think that needs to be super tight because that will continue to take up the slack. But he does say tighten it up, though, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah. I don't I've think you want it vibrating it. loose, and you don't want that little wedge falling out and all the screw falling out. So put your put your rubber thing back in, and that should be your brake adjustment done. Now there's another video we've got to watch, and Ian will do the pointy thing, which is. You've now got to bed these in, and it's some weird manoeuvre. We haven't done it where you've got to like... So we've got to get all our wheels back on, get all this done, and we'll do the same on the other side, and then we'll go and do our little road, road test road and test. bed it in. And Yeah. So there we go. That's the end of that video. Watch out for the next video with the road test bedding in process.